Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Gonna film another little video today. Uh, the rain has kind of moved out for a few minutes. Even got access to a brand new ramp. How cool is that? How cool is that? So many people ask me, what about the perspective mode? And I use, um, uh, how I use perspective mode and how I decide the angles of the transducer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you three different angles of transducer. I'm gonna use the Garmin angle, my angle and then the angle that is the extreme of too far up and i'll show you the difference in the readings of all those and we're going to go through those three and i will kind of show you um how i like to do my uh angle and i'm going to show you the most important thing you need to notice in the corner the top right hand corner of the screen is the angle of the beam the beam angle is what's important too far up and you lose uh, too much of the bottom, too far down, it's really bright, really blows it out. You don't get a good uh, reading and it, it just doesn't work right. But so we're gonna go through all three of these settings and, and then we'll talk about it. And then uh, at the very end, we'll discuss a few more things. All right, first what we see is an example of the transducer pointing way too low. This is Garmin's angle. It's not good. It, it just is so limited in what you can use it as. This is a shallow water tool. Yes, I can still see the tree. I can see the resemblance or of the dock post. Not much more. Now, this next one is an example of it aiming too high. Notice, yes, you can see the dock post. Yes, you can see that tree. But notice those little waves. That's actually the surface waves. Now, now we'll use some things where we use this, but not in this case right here. We don't like, look at those waves rolling across the screen. Look at those wavy lines. That is the surface of the water. So you're aiming a little too high. Now, this last one is absolutely perfect. You still see a touch of the waves, not as bad. Now, I left it on 70%. Now, see, this bottom is a little, too, a little bit too bright, so I want to darken it up. And why do I want to darken it up? Look at those posts popping. Look at those trees popping. But most importantly, of all the things, when I get this set, I want you to pay attention to that middle post. That middle post. There's a, what, nine in a perfect little square there. Now pay attention to that middle post swimming up to it right now. That's what's popping. Look at that fish swimming to that middle post. It is popping because you've got that good dark background you can see him swimming very clearly. So as you've seen in the video, the angle of the transducer plays an important role in uh, clarity of the image that we're looking for. Now this is, this is bit based on the fact that I use this mostly zero to seven, maybe eight feet. And I don't use it in that 10, 12, 13, 14 foot uh, area. I'm zero, six, seven foot. That's what I use perspective mode for. Can it be used deeper? Absolutely. But you only have a 20 degree beam from the top to the bottom. And when you only have 20 degrees and you're in say 12, 13, 14 foot of water, um, imagine trying to get that beam to shoot to the area. It's not going to be very, it's not going to be front to back. It's not going to be very good. It's going to be still the same 135 degree width, but it's not going to be great in terms of getting an accurate look at the bottom. This is a zero to seven or eight foot um, tool. Know what it is, use it for what it is, and it will always help you in catching more fish. It's going to help you so much more than you ever can believe. But the reason people say, oh, I don't like it, you haven't used it. You got to use it and know what you're using it for. It's a tool, just like a spinnerbait, crankbait, a fluke, a shaky head, a Ned rig. When, when, if you use a Ned rig where I need to be throwing a spinnerbait, I'm not going to do the real good. You got to use the right tool. And here's the right tool. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And you 